So when I first tell people that I drive a race car, naturally one of the first questions that they're going to ask is, what kind of car do you race? If you're a racer yourself, you've probably been asked that question many times as well. And you would also know that depending on the level of racing knowledge that the person asking the question has, there's a lot of different ways you can answer it. Now for me, the full answer to that question is I race at USRA B Modified. Now for those of you that aren't super familiar with the various different classifications of dirt track race car, I'm doing this video to kind of show you around the car and explain the various mechanical bits of it that make it a B Mod. So in order to understand what a B Modified is, first you have to understand a little bit about what a Modified is. With that in mind, we're going to start at the front of the car, and I'll show you some of the characteristics that define this entire family of race cars. So here we are at the front of the car. Now one characteristic that all of the various different types of Modifieds in this sort of family of cars shares is the way that the frame is constructed. They have what's called the front clip that is a stock frame section. So you see sort of this curved piece here that looks different from the tubing that constructs the rest of the car. That is, in theory, the frame or part of the frame off of a factory car. In this case, that would be a 1968 to 1972 Chevrolet A-body or GM A-body. Actually, this frame didn't originate from a junkyard. It was a reproduction of that frame that was built to the same dimensions as a factory car. Here we also see the engine, and a defining factor of a modified is that the engine is drastically set back from where it would be located in a stock car or you know a car that came from the factory. You see the cross member there. Normally the engine would actually sit over that cross member in a stock vehicle. In this case, it's set back quite a ways. Now the engine is a 358 cubic inch small block Chevy. There's really nothing super special about them for the engines that we run in the B modifieds. That's one of the things that separates this car from an A mod or modified. They have a lot less restrictions on what you can do with the engine. But this thing, which would normally have a two barrel carburetor on top of it, that's been removed for, uh, for rebuilding. This thing probably pushes about 400 horsepower. Now the front suspension is another key aspect of what makes this a B modified. You can see the lower control arm is actually a factory or factory reproduction piece. Everything in the front suspension on these cars, except for the upper A arms, is a factory component. That includes the steering, lower A arms, spindles, etc. Now looking up underneath the car, we find the rest of the drivetrain. This is a specially designed for racing two-speed manual transmission, and it connects through a drive shaft to a specially designed for racing quick change rear end. So back here we find the other defining features of a B-Mod versus other types of modifieds. This car is set up on what's known as a three-link rear suspension, meaning on each side you have one trailing arm that runs from the rear end forward. You have one mounted under the rear end there, one mounted under the rear end over there, and then you also have a third link, which is that long black bar that runs forward on top of the drive shaft. That differs from an A modified, which would have a four link rear suspension, which is two links on each side and then the pull bar on top. And on those, the mounts can actually pivot on the axle, whereas these, as you can see, they're clamped and welded in place. Here we have a look inside the cockpit of the car. And as you can see, there's not much room for anything besides the driver. So you have some pretty basic gauges, including a tack, oil pressure and water temperature, some warning lights, ignition switch, brake bias adjuster, and shifter, and of course down there are the pedals. The one thing I forgot to mention earlier looking at the front of the car, so I'm in the process of disassembling this car, to, uh, pull this blown up motor out of it, go through that. You'll get a video on that later showing what went wrong with that engine. But here at the front, so normally you would have a radiator in front of the motor, and you would have obviously a hood, but the front tires are not covered by any bodywork on these cars. So that's another defining characteristic that's common among all types of modifieds. In fact, down south they call these things open wheel modifieds because they're essentially open wheel at the front, whereas at the back you have fenders. Well, I hope you found that interesting and informative and maybe learned a little bit about these kinds of race cars. In the future, I'd like to do a video breaking down all the various types of modifieds and how they've evolved over the years 
But for the time being, this is what I race, the USRAV modified.